So here's the ice rink, nearing completion. <clears throat> it's pretty close to done. It's uh, fairly full. It hasn't started leaking out yet, but uh, you can definitely tell how it, uh, fortunately, takes up the, the spaces where it's uneven and settles them. This place is still pretty wet here. I guess the water is deeper on that side. <clears throat> Water's still trickling. Hey, hey, get! Stupid goats. It's not quite ready for standing on yet. Whoa. Pretty cool. Ooh, it's quite mushy over here. It's a pretty severe wrinkle. I'm hoping, my thought is, is that once we have the ice frozen and we do peel off the top layer, then if we need to, we can uh, turn the hose on and just kind of mist whatever needs misting. Ugh. So, yeah, so far so good. All right, we are as done as we're going to be for now, I think. The uh, thing is full. It's right up to the fill hole. It's right up to the fill hole, yep. Not really go anymore. So now we gotta let it freeze a little bit more. If you want, you can crawl over and touch it, but don't crawl on it though. Touch it gently. I can't break the ice. Don't try to break it, just feel it. That's that is one of the key components of ice, yes, being slippery. Pretty cool, hey? No, don't, don't mess with it. It's not going to travel uphill, kiddo. Water is always going to set in the lowest spot. Right down here is where it's the deepest. We're lucky we got it as level as we did. Yep. Next year will be a little bit better, but this year will still be plenty good. Okay, out of there, Gaby. The rink has been snowed on a bit. We're just checking to see if it's frozen through yet, if it's ready to peel off the plastic or not. Still liquid? Yeah. All right, we'll try again at lunchtime. Yep. We had a minor setback. We got snowed on, which unfortunately insulated the ice rink and kept it from freezing up totally. It's uh, it's getting there. My husband just swept the snow off. Right now it's only minus five, so I don't know if that's going to be cold enough to continue freezing it, but it is sitting on ice. So, I mean, maybe we should have done it in layers. I thought it would have been better for it to be solid, but... Maybe layers might have been a better choice. Yeah. I don't really know. It's Process hard to tell. It just said fill it up and wait for it to freeze. So. It probably would have frozen stiff at the minus 24 we were having. But Even when it was it that minus there. 20, I was I was trying to hose the area to level it out and it wasn't <laughs> freezing. It was just melting the ice. Well, anyway, it's nearly frozen. It's getting there, yep. I'd say it's about halfway through. Yeah. All right. So day two of it being full and hopefully mostly frozen by now. Hubby's just sweeping off the fresh layer of snow as it might be insulating it. Wow, that's shiny underneath there. Just gonna test it. Whoa! Stop making noise. I can see it kind of flexing underneath you, but only a little bit. It's hard to tell if it's just the plastic. I can't see any water in it. Oh, it's making that cool noise. But they skate on ice that makes that yeah, noise. It's, it's about an inch thick now. So if it's an inch thick, the kids should be able to skate on it, right? Yeah. I was holding my weight. It was only when I was bouncing. So it started to crack. 
There's like a divot there by your foot. Was that you? Is that no other foot? Other foot. Is that divot oh, there? Yeah, there was a piece of ice or something that landed here. So there is actually a hollow there. Huh. We'll just have to fill that with water. I see maybe a kid did that or something. Of imperfections. That's okay. Yeah, once I'd we spray have a it. Slightly imperfect slab, then no slab at all. Yeah, definitely. Well, and if, especially if we keep sweeping the snow off of it, then it'll. Uh, it should freeze. It'll. Uh, yeah, it's right. This really deep spot is. Yeah, I was gonna say right here is where it'd be more likely to, to be not frozen because it's where it's really deep. Yeah. Ooh. That was the ice underneath cracking oh, here. Okay. It's like a snowball. The kids are gonna be so thrilled. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> That's okay, it's still good. So yeah, it's not quite frozen though. That's alright. But that lets us know, I mean another day it should probably be. Yeah, a day or two I think would be. Especially if we get a good deep freeze. <clears throat> See if I can ruin this part too. <laughs> It is satisfying watching it just like poof off though. Yeah. It's weird stepping on it and not being slippery. And do you think that uh, that we're at the part where we should peel off the uh, the plastic yet then? Because the plastic also adds a layer of insulation. It might freeze faster Maybe. the rest of the way through without the plastic. The instruction said to peel it off after, but I don't really know. At this point it's holding its shape. Yeah. My only concern would be is if the, the edges if aren't the frozen. Edges are only an inch thick, then it could blow out. We could lose the inside. And we'd end up with a hollow rink. Yeah. So I think we probably leave the plastic on until we're really sure it's solid. That's logical. It is mostly there though. Yeah. I haven't heard any cracking since I've been walking on this part. Yeah. I was gonna say you probably just jinxed it. Now you're gonna fall right well, through. I do see some bubbles here. That it, it could go. The kids weigh a lot less than you, and you're not exactly a fatty, so... No. I don't exactly think that they're going to break through, but that one section where I did fall through, it actually did crack all the way through. So yeah. We don't want to have them on here just yet. <laughs> yeah, it's straining under my weight here. This part's really deep, so... Yeah. It's not too surprising. But the fact that it took that long, like you had to stand right on it in the weak spot, leaning on your foot. Yeah. In fact, right there is the deepest part, isn't it? There's water sluicing. I can see it moving around over <laughs> here. I'm not going to lean on this too much. The water's not bubbling out of the hole. Nope. In fact, yeah, I was just going to sweep it this way so it makes a, makes a ledge for it to sit against. As we, as we add water to fill the crevices. I think we could peel it. I don't know. Maybe in the afternoon we'll come out for like an afternoon coffee break and yeah. see if it should be peeled up. Because then at least when the sunlight does melt the surface a little bit, it'll melt it nice and flat. Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, the, uh... I don't see any surface water. Like... Even after you broke it, I didn't see anything coming up. And it's hard on the edges here. Yeah. What do you think? Any objection to peeling it? I think we should peel it. I've already made my reservations now. Oh, you, you think it wouldn't be good? Because I don't see any loose water on the edges. It, it would probably be okay. If not, it's a lot of work for, for not. Yeah, okay. We'll wait. We'll wait. All right, you guys can walk towards me. Our rink's about as close to done as as damn it is to swearing, I think. We're almost ready to take that plastic off. I'm swimming. I swim. Yeah. All right. Should I ask Dad if we can take off the plastic? Yeah, yeah. Please, please. It's still a little bit liquidy under here, but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. All right, we are down to the moment of truth. My wonderful husband's going to cut all the plastic off of the edge. Hopefully he's not going to sever any fingers, but if he does, it'll make for great TV. And then the kids are going to help him peel it back. 
Man loses fingers while opening ice ring. Instant viral hit. <laughs> a Canadian classic. Yeah. Hello. The kids don't have ice skates on yet. Hi. Because it's not totally frozen under there yet. Apparently minus 20 is not enough for it to freeze all the way through in such a short period of time. Oh, and the horse is coming to help. Hi, Dayton. Whoops. But they do still have helmets on because even if they go skittering around on the ice... Grab a knife and touch you need to listen to Cor Blunt's always keep an edge on your knife. Yeah. Alberta's country star would be so disappointed. Sure We're going to pause. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Do you love being on the internet, Rhiannon? Yeah, and then we're going to put food coloring in here. To make it pretty? Yeah, because yeah. I don't like a boring, scary, and icky brown and clear and white this ice rink i like my ice rinks pretty like the pink hey, get the damn goats ice rinks are way prettier than mine well we can decorate it a bit with some nice colors that would be fine a dirty ice rink it's not dirty it's clear the dirt is in the ground the ice itself is perfectly clean at least as clean as our drinking water is which it is kind of dirty. <laughs> You'll notice that the kids are wearing helmets because safety first. Rhiannon's actually wearing my riding helmet because it fits over top of her hood. And Gabriel is wearing Rhiannon's bike helmet because it fits over top of his hood. That way he can stay warm and safe. Not just because of the ice on the rink, but because of the ice up there, which could fall on them as he's going to and from our little gate there. Okay, whoops. <laughs> I hope I got that on camera. That was great. <laughs> uh, whoops, what is going on here? Somehow I'm just zooming like crazy. I'm fired. There we go. That's like a hot knife through an ice rink. We're definitely going to have to find a second use for this plastic though. That is a huge sheet of plastic. I think that's going to be our, our next greenhouse cover maybe. Speaking of greenhouse, we have been growing sprouts in a jar. I saw it on YouTube. And uh, yeah, we ordered some sprouts off of Amazon that were organic and Canadian, although I'm more concerned about it being Canadian than organic. Mmm, tasty chemicals. I am I am pro-GMO, if it's done responsibly. Uh-oh! Oh, oh. oh dear. Well, you know what? That's okay. Kids, stay away from this part. We, uh, we learned a hard lesson. Gabe, stay, oops, stay back. No skating there. I don't know if you should be skating on it at all. Yeah, we're not doing ice skates probably for another day or two until we know that it's frozen fully up. frozen. No. Because do you remember what happens when you're on ice skates? Stay away, Rhiannon. When you're on ice skates, your and also your weight is on a much smaller, a much smaller uh, piece, so you have less surface area. Whereas with your boots, at least it spreads your weight out a bit. Okay, guys, away from here. Other side, please. Ooh, watch out, buddy. That's slippery. All right. Maybe the internet should get a betting racket going. Which kid breaks a bone on the ice first? My bet is on Dada. Dada breaks a bone on the ice first. <sighs> I don't know if it'll be his bone. It might be one of the goats if they piss him off enough, but... Just kidding. The only one who abuses the goats in this family is me. And I usually just hurl verbal abuse at them. When they're breaking into my tack room or climbing on my car. Watch out, Rob. Gabe's right behind you and he's being Sorry, reckless as usual. Yeah. Canadian man falls on exposed knife. Then the country will ban, will ban knives, too. Maybe. 
Oops. Don't fall on your brother, please. Hallelujah. That's an ice rink, all right. So next year, this area is going to be a fenced-in sandbox. It's also going to be closer to the roof there. Sure. See if you can kick it into the goal. The goal being this... No, Dad's busy. Dad has to go back to work. No, you're not getting a hockey stick. No, no, Rhiannon. No, put it back. Cool. Okay, don't go where it's deep, but slide across on the thick you don't part. Don't want to strike the ice because you could break the ice. Yeah. So it's not fully stop. Fast. Stop. Do you see? Do you see this white part here? Yeah. This white kind of arc. I don't want you coming past that. You gotta stay on that side of the arc. Okay, Rob, slide across the ice. Woo! <laughs> Scared the horses. <laughs> Wait, now you gotta do the dab. <laughs> That's pretty. Oh, my oops. Before I hurt myself. Good idea. <laughs> Thanks, hon. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you did one too. Woo! I'm running. Don't go past this arch here. No. Yeah, you can swim. Go ahead. I'm stop! Stop! Gabe, stop! Stop! Other way. You can't come past here. Over here, it's not frozen yet. No. Back that way. I'm going to put a stick on the ice. 